Speaker, Honorable Members, my name is Mame Tair Monguno. I represent Marche Monguno Ngenze Federal Constituency of Borno State. I hereby move that a bill for an act to alter part one of the second schedule to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 to devolve to states some items on the exclusive legislative list and for related matters be read the second time. I so move. Mm -hmm. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Members, this bill is sponsored against the backdrop of the fact that constitution of any given nation state is an organic document that is supposed to change with changing times in order to take into account both the objective and subjective realities on ground. Because a constitution is supposed to be a document that is organic in nature and as such must always reflect the wishes and aspirations of a society at any given point in time. It's not supposed to remain static. It was against this background that certain items that were under the exclusive legislative list at the time the constitution is being drafted is now sought to be shifted to the concurrent legislative list so that both the states and the federal government can make laws on them. This is as a result of the general clamor across the nooks and crannies of the country. The consensus at Edom among the Nigerian population that such items must be moved to the concurrent legislative list so that both the states and the federal government will have jurisdiction to make laws on them. One, for example, issues regarding police. There is the general clamor and aspiration across the nooks and crannies of the country that police, matters relating to police, should be moved to the concurrent legislative list so that states can also have their own police, especially against the clamor for the establishment of a, or for making community policing more active against the backdrop of the avalanche of security challenges that we are having across the nooks and crannies of the country. State police will be in a better position to effectively police the nooks and crannies of their localities as opposed to a federal police or a situation whereby somebody from Aqua Ibom is recruited into the police and posted to, for example, to Monguno, where even the terrain, the topography, the language, the culture, it's a it's, it's complete culture shock to him. So it's a, it was against this backdrop that one of the items that is sought to be moved from the exclusive legislative list to the concurrent legislative list is police. Mutatis, mutandis, fursus. That means that once there is the need to move police from exclusive legislative list to concurrent legislative list, then states should also have their own freedoms so that people that are convicted under state laws can be moved to those freedoms rather than to federal uh, correctional centers. There should be state correctional centers. For example, issues related to uh, electricity, power generation. I see no reason why power generation and issues related to electricity can be domiciled in the exclusive legislative list. If states or cluster of states think that they have the resource to generate power and distribute the same, they should, they should be allowed to do so. But right now, it is bogged down with a lot of bureaucratic red tape, with a lot of constitutional hurdles and bottlenecks that states find it very difficult to uh, embark upon issues related to power generation, distribution, and what have you. Once it is moved to the concurrent legislative list, it will fast track our sp uh, state of economic development because states will no longer be bogged down by all these constitutional bottlenecks and bureaucratic uh, red tapes in issues related to power generation and distribution. For example, issues also related to railways should not be in the exclusive legislative list. If, for example, Borno State thinks that it has resources to uh, construct rail line from, for example, Yobe 
to Borno, from Meduguri to Damaturu, and then to da from Damaturu to Bauchi State, then the, the, this three states can decide to put, pull their resources together and establish a rail line among them so that they can evacuate their agricultural uh, products from the hinterland to the cities for, for, for market. So that is the reason why also issues related to railway is sought to be removed from the exclusive legislative list and be brought to the concurrent legislative list so that both the state and the federal government will have jurisdiction to make laws on them. For example, issues related to also public holidays, it should not be in the concurrent uh, exclusive legislative list. States should have powers to declare public holidays when they deem it fit according to their own circumstances. For example, my state, Borno State, can decide to declare a public holiday when Boko Haram, uh, the day Boko Haram is finally defeated. That day can be declared a public holiday by, by Borno State or Yobe State or, or Adamawa State where Boko Haram has this, uh, caused a lot of havoc. As such, issues related to public holiday also should be removed to the concurrent legislative list. Because as, it, as I'm speaking to you right now, I know Oshu State declares public holiday for the uh, Islamic New Year. Kano State declares public holiday for the Islamic New Year, while other states don't, don't, don't do so. So it should be moved from the exclusive legislative list to the uh, concurrent uh, legislative list. Even issues of concerning mining, mining of mineral resources, is also bogged down at the center with a lot of bureaucratic bottlenecks of accessing uh, uh, licenses to embark upon meaningful mining ventures. So issues related to mining also should be removed from the exclusive legislative list and be brought to the concurrent legislative list so that states will have the constitutional backing to embark upon the exploitation of resources within their respective domains so that they will generate more revenue for the purpose of uh, increasing their uh, infrastructure and other human capital uh, development needs. So against this backdrop, I invite my colleagues to support the second reading of this bill against the general clamor or the consensus at Edom among the Nigerian populace with regard to these items in the exclusive legislative list. Thank you. Those in favor, please say aye. aye. Those against, please say nay. I have it. Please uh, read the long title of the bill. Part one of the second schedule to the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 to devote to state some items on the exclusive legislative list and for latent matters, second reading.